Well, hello everybody. <clears throat> I'm, I'm working from home today. I've just had my lunch. It's a lovely day. And I thought I'll break it up for half an hour um, and start planning my hike for next weekend, which is going to be in the Lake District for three days and two nights. So I started to plan it and then I got to thinking, well, I might do a little series on uh, navigation. Navigation made easy, maybe? I don't know. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd do a quick video, rather than a long one explaining lots of stuff all at once. I'll do a series of videos, and this one will be about compasses, understanding them, getting a clean reading, how they work, and a basic layout of them. And then I'll do other ones along the way, like orientating a map, taking six-figure grid references, understanding a map and building up a 3D image in your, in your head. Because in theory, the better you understand a map, the less you're going to need a compass. Um, and maps come in various different um, scales as well, so that's something I'll, I'll show you. So I started doing this with um, figuring out where I'm going and how many miles, and are they going to be hard miles, are they going to be easy miles on the flats, gradual inclines or big ass inclines. So you need to plan these things really if you're, if you're going out in the wild because you don't want to be planning a 20 mile hike and 18 of them are all like that. So I'll quickly show you the maps and stuff. I don't know if there's enough light. Let's have a look. Okay, can you both see that okay? Can I zoom in a little bit maybe? Okay, so two different types of compass, both pointing north. Can you see the the north pointing this way? Don't worry about the compass at the minute, I'll explain the, the layout. So at the minute they're both pointing north, okay? Now watch what happens if say I move them closer to each other. You see how they shifted? And now they're pointing a different direction. Move them apart again. This one's much slower. Uh, and then I was both pointing north again. So let's, I've got some bits and bobs to show you to see what stuff affects a compass. Because it's important when you're taking a reading or even showing people. So I've got my knife. So if I was to point on a map, you see how it shifts? This one would be much slower. Right, so that definitely isn't north, is it? Let's try... Let's try my ferris rod. Does that make a difference? No. No. But the striker... Yeah. The striker does. Not hugely, but it does. Let's try... My torch. Lead lens or LED torch. Cracking little torch, this. I'll uh, maybe do a video on this at some point. Let's see if this affects it. See how it's shifting it slightly? Yep. And the batteries inside affecting it. What else have we got to try? Uh, ceramic knife. Let's see if a ceramic knife affects it. Yeah, look at that. Wow, it's ceramic. So, compasses will point to magnetic north. Now, we're not going to get into the technicalities of where magnetic north actually is. If you're in England, you don't have to worry about it because the, the actual point of where the actual true magnetic north is is literally just just like one degree off true north whereas if you're in canada yeah you're gonna have to uh, uh, change your um, bearings based on where the um declination point is i'm not going to go into that now though so this is just understanding your compass so when you are going to take bearings in the future using a compass make sure there's nothing that's interfering with it 
like even next to your vehicle before you set off or any kind of magnets or torches or knives that you've got around you try and keep it a nice clean surface away from magnetic and metallic interference and you'll go a long way so let me have a show you really quickly the layout of a compass I'll put on a white background for you okay where's my pencil I won't use the knife because as you've seen the knife will alter it so compass can everyone see that okay is it focusing it's focusing so you've got your base plate okay so this will fit flat on a mat on a map sorry not a mat um, and as you notice if you tilt it and then try and move around it ain't gonna move okay so you've got your base plate this bit in the middle this turns around this is your bezel and as you notice on the outside of the bezel you've got lots of different numbers okay and these are your bearings we'll get into that later okay, so inside the actual bezel the bit that spins you'll see these lines here okay now these are your orientating lines and the reason they're called orientating lines is because you line them up to the lines on the map which I'll show you later on now you've also got your orientating arrow okay as you can see it shifts around and there's your needle north south okay now here you'll see a can you see I'll just get this back you'll see your line here with an arrow this is your direction of travel line okay now what you see here is measurements going horizontally and then vertically horizontally and vertically horizontally and vertically and these are to represent the different scales of map so if I quickly show you a map that I've just got out this is a modern survey and this is an explorer map so this is really detailed and you see down at the bottom it says one in 25,000 okay look on the compass you can see one in 25,000 at the top so I would use this measurement whilst using that map okay and these are called your romas these are your romas okay so if you have a one in 50,000 scale map so there'll be a much less detail but it cover a bigger area so if you're cycling and stuff that'd be fine but for my purposes I want the one in 25k okay so there are your scales and on this side here you've got you can see that you've got your real simple ruler um, which is in millimeters and centimeters so it's 10 centimeters 100 millimeters and on this side here you've got your inch ruler and then slap bang in the middle you've got your magnifier okay that's all you need to know at this point so that's your compass nice simple okay so the next video I think I'll do how to orientate your map but I'm gonna go back to work now I might do it later okay there you go understanding a compass and understanding the layout of a compass. Cheers. Adios.